Hi, this is Warner. I'm looking at this citrus tree today, and this leaf has been damaged, oh, maybe a week ago or so by the Asian citrus leaf miner. This one, oh, maybe three or four days ago. There's a number of insects that are in this citrus tree. Some of them have, some of them have damage to the leaves the new leaves so that they will be so stunted they'll never get to be full size. Uh, some of them have, uh, this is a different class of insect here. This is leaf minor damage. You got thwarps, aphids, uh, you got a number of insects in here. So what does this mean? Well, this all started when the Asian citrus leaf miner came into the valley. And the Asian citrus leaf miner has no natural predator in Arizona, so there's no other bug that eats it. And it breeds up to 14 times a year. So it has been slowly depleting the reserves of the trees. You've got reserve cells in the roots and in the trunk, and the tree will take all the energy that it needs, that all the leaves make, plus it will draw on the reserves to make the new leaves. Then it will also draw on the reserves to make the blossom and the fruit. It doesn't get to start restocking the reserves up again until the fruit's done. So you're talking two or three months, and normally that's enough. But for the last five or six years, the leaves have been so damaged by not only the leaf miner, but the other insects, that the reserves have been gradually depleted. So now we're in a state where the leaves can no longer make the natural occurring insecticides that are in the fruit, layers of the skin of the fruit, and the leaves. And as a result of that, <coughs> all the other insects in the valley are now in epidemic state. So to fix this, you've got to get rid of the insects and you've got to not only get rid of them once, but you've got to learn how uh, to spot them. Now here's a leaf miner that was working last night, and you can tell by the gloss. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's new. It's got that white, that white gloss to it. On the leaf, uh, you've got to get you got to get the the bugs off of it. You got to get the water right. You got to get uh, the fertilizing right. You got to prune them so you don't damage them. You got to learn how to identify or tell. You don't have to learn the names of all the insects, but you have to learn enough about them to where you know when they're going to come back, and then you've got to spray again. All the instructions to do this are either in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube or if you're watching on my website it's at the bottom of the page. In addition we put uh, chemicals, uh, fertilizers into the tree to jump start the energy production of the leaves. We usually only have to do that two times sometimes only once depending on how bad the tree is but everything else that is listed in the solution to this problem has to be done as well. So if you've got any questions, give me a call. The number is 480-969-8808. This is Warner. It's February 10th or 11th, 2017. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Pat and I answer the phones and set up bids for tree disease work for my husband Warner. 
Warner has been treating sick trees for over 50 years. Yes, we're that old. Warner also does all our online marketing, including building and managing our websites. We have had the main website in its current form since 2011. We incorporated a lot of stuff from the previous website we had about 20 years ago. The Warner's Tree Surgery website has gotten pretty big. Warner has decided to make additional websites to target the trees we do the most work on. And today I want to talk about our citrus tree website. This is our website for citrus tree diseases. It has a page for all the main 24 diseases in the world. And it has a page for the ash fly, which is a serious problem for citrus trees in the Phoenix, Arizona area. The home page lists the main diseases we have to deal with here. And it has a video that talks about some very serious problems we have. If you have citrus trees, you really need to watch it. At the bottom of the home page, we have included a link to a government site that lists the 200 plus insects that affect citrus trees. If you need us to look at your trees, give me a call and I will set you up with an appointment to talk to Warner. Thank you and goodbye.